Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, two knights defense. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. White's end game precision was a cut above Black. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. As it occupies space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn, and aids in maintaining control of the e4 square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. That's a decent move. That's good. This secures a pawn. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is quite good. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to capture the checking rook. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. This enables the adversary to kick the bishop. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to trample a bishop. It is incorrect. There is an easier way to transport a queen to safety than this. It is incorrect. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is quite good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is ideal. 
This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. This protects the attacked knight. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This prevents the adversary from making a queen attack known. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. That's good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This poses a knight winning threat. It is incorrect. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is incorrect. This was a turn of the game move that put white in the lead. It is a wise decision. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. It is good. This misses a chance to humiliate a queen. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a great move. This might indicate that a bishop was attacked. That's good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a great move. It's alright. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. By posing a threat to a bishop and compelling it to flee, this gains a tempo. That's good. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a knight who is exposed. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. This suggests kicking a bishop. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This wastes a chance to sidestep the opposing bishop's check. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. This might indicate that a bishop was attacked. It is ideal. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. 
it is incorrect. This misses a chance to sidestep the opponent queen's check. It is incorrect. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This misses a better opportunity to threaten a knight in order to win a tempo. It is incorrect. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a mistake. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is a miss. This is the only move that works. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This ignores a more effective approach to fortify a knight who is weak. It is incorrect. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This wins a queen. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. White's end game precision was a cut above black.